I recently created an upgrade for my Champion Electronic Workhorse Clay Thrower. Um, I had bought the Champion Wireless Receiver and Wireless Remote so that I have broader range in terms of um, throwing the clays, but I don't like using the remote because I have to press this button. I find that distracting. So what I did is I created this homemade um, voice command unit. What happens is after you yell a command to it, it could be any command, it will send a signal to the receiver. So you still need this receiver. It still needs to be plugged into the workhorse thrower and it'll tell the workhorse thrower to throw uh, clays. The transmitter, the new voice commander transmitter is composed of a microphone. You have to yell. Once it picks up things at a certain decibel level, it will send a signal. Signal is sent through this transmitter. The transmitter will accept signals or accept commands based upon the um, duration or the wait time that's controlled by this potentiometer. Right now, the minimum wait between accepting a new command is two seconds, and it can go all the way up to seven seconds by turning this dial. There's also a switch to indicate whether or not you throw singles or doubles. By that, I mean when you send a command, will it throw one clay or will it, set, will it throw, two, throw two clays, um, one right after the other? There's also a set of LEDs, a red light to indicate that the system is on and having power, a green light. When the green light is steady, it means that it's listening for commands. When the green light is blinking, it means it is waiting or in between listening for commands. And then, of course, a 9-volt power, uh, power source. Underneath this is a microcontroller, which is the brains of the entire operation. You turn it on, you'll notice that the red light comes on. It will blink for a few seconds to indicate the system's warming up and allowing you to set it down properly without sending any um, any any commands by accident. Once it's solid green, it means it can accept a command. Pull! Green light shows that it accepted it. Pull! And so it shows that it's working. Let's take it out to the field. In my hand, I've got the uh, new voice remote. And I've got the old remote. I'm just going to toss that onto the ground here. And I'm going to turn the voice remote on. And, uh, yeah, load my shotgun. Oh! Two for two. Huh? Whoa. 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 been shooting this thing with the singles command on and I'm going to shoot it with doubles and see how it goes. Well. Well. So that is something that we can improve on. The doubles command doesn't seem to be on enough of a pause and so it's not issuing the second shot. Uh, right after the first, at least not one that the machine can actually uh, uh, pick up. So that's something that's fairly easy to resolve, so I'll get that fixed. You know, overall, I was really impressed with that. The microphone was picking up my commands from quite a distance away, as you could see. Uh, also, for a shoot with a new shotgun, it wasn't bad today at all. Actually, I was pretty successful with it. I just need to remember to uh, <laughs> to put some ammo in it. <laughs> Not a customer shooting with an over-under. That was a lot of fun. So here's my review of the unit. I thought it worked exceptionally well. Uh, you saw that it was picking up my voice commands from several feet away at the range. Usually these things are right in front of you. So I thought that its sensitivity was great. 
um, you saw that it was transmitting to the thrower that was also dozens of feet away. So that was very successful as well. Um, I was able to have a lot of mobility in terms of walking around, yelling at the unit and it picking up uh, the signal. What didn't work so well was the lights. I thought these lights were really weak and I couldn't really see them in the light. So either I'm going to have to get some different LEDs that are brighter or just get rid of that altogether. To be honest, the less is better. Maybe, it sounds crazy, maybe I might just want to put in a piezo to uh, give it a beep or something like that. Um, which would not activate the unit, of course, to throw, but that might be a little better indicator. The other thing was that the switch between singles and doubles didn't work. When I put it to doubles, um, it didn't throw the second one. That's really just an issue in terms of delay. But outside of those two things, I was very happy. I'm gonna love, I'm gonna love taking this thing out. Um, yeah, and if you guys have got any questions, please let me know. Have a great day, take care.